If you Google polyphasic sleep, you'll come across several alternative sleep schedules which recommend splitting up the conventional monophase or single sleep block of seven to nine hours overnight into smaller chunks spaced out throughout the day and night. For example, the so-called Uberman schedule involves six 30-minute naps every four hours for a total of just three hours of sleep every 24 hours. Advocates of polyphasic sleep schedules claim that with more hours awake, you can get more done. You improve memory, mood, dream more and live longer. So how is this supposed to work? Well, a normal overnight sleep consists of cycles of four different stages of sleep about every 90 minutes. When we're really sleep deprived, our brains get hungriest for deep sleep and REM sleep and we tend to get more of those at the expense of the other stages. So polyphasic sleep advocates argue that our sleep becomes more condensed and better quality. Brilliant! This is good news for me and my attempt to row around Britain this summer. Ocean rowers traditionally follow a schedule of two hours on, two hours off, 24 hours a day. So that's two hours of rowing and then two hours in which you eat, poop and recover. So sleeping for a maximum of 90 minutes at a time, though mostly during the overnight sessions. So perhaps I should start my polyphasic sleep schedule now in preparation. Whoa, not so fast. It may sound convincing, but what does the evidence say? Well, according to a new review by the brightest minds at the National Sleep Foundation, there are at least two major flaws in the polyphasic sleep plan. Firstly, we've got our circadian rhythms that I mentioned in the clock change video. We are pre-programmed to operate on a 24-hour cycle, active during the day and resting at night. So when we try and sleep during the day, it tends to take us longer to fall asleep and sleep becomes more fragmented, as most night shift workers will know well. It's not the same. We can't just switch out day and nighttime sleep and expect it to have the same benefits we also risk disrupting our other circadian cycles in things like metabolism, digestion, and immune function. Secondly, we all have a biological sleep need, which for most adults is at least seven hours. The more nights that we experience less than that, we build up a sleep debt, and mood, memory, and health can all start to suffer. In fact, the experts concluded claims of benefits from polyphasic sleep schedules are not supported by scientific evidence. Striving to adopt a schedule that significantly reduces the amount of sleep per 24 hours and or fragments sleep into multiple episodes throughout the 24-hour day can have significant adverse consequences for daytime performance, mood and health, and is clearly not recommended. The good news is that in adverse conditions, humans can be remarkably adaptable new babies are born without their circadian rhythms for about three months so new parents have to learn to nap their way through the day since their babies wake up every two to three hours they may suffer from brain fog and various emotional roller coasters but they do get through it and they do recover having spoken to ocean rowers who have maintained that two on two off schedule as they rowed across the atlantic for 30 40 or even 50 days at a time it is possible. But as On Shoulders of Giants, last year's Talisker winners told me, watch out for mood swings and hallucinations. Solo round the world sailors, like the incredible Pip Hare, who recently completed the Vendée Globe in 95 days, have an even tougher time. Pip told me that she was only able to snatch naps of about 30 minutes, sleeping for about four hours a day. While polyphasic sleep patterns are possible for weeks or even months at a time, they do take their toll. And Pip said that sleep deprivation was one of the toughest aspects of her challenge. So what can you do if you are facing an extreme sleep deprivation challenge? Well, first, start well rested. If you do need to compress your sleep, it's better to get it in micro doses than try and go multiple days with no sleep at all. But the ideal thing is to have a good chunk of sleep overnight. Bank sleep whenever you can and focus on optimal nutrition and hydration and reducing stress to support your body as best you can. 
Thanks for listening and sleep well. Though preferably not in a polyphasic way.